Today, we will talk about Poor Knights Islands, New Zealand. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. The Poor Knights Islands is a group of islands located off the northeastern coast of New Zealand's North Island. They are situated about 23 kilometers, 14 miles, offshore from the Tuchikaka coast. The group consists of two main islands, Orangi and Tawhidi Rai, along with several smaller islands. The Poor Knights Islands are known for their stunning natural beauty, diverse marine life, and rich history. The islands are a popular destination for diving and snorkeling due to their clear waters and abundant marine biodiversity. The surrounding waters have been designated as a marine reserve, providing protection to the unique ecosystems found there. The islands are also significant culturally, with a long history of Maori occupation and use. The Maori name for the Poor Knights Islands is Tawhidi Rati, which translates to Big Trip or Big Journey. The islands hold spiritual and historical significance for local Maori communities. Visitors to the Poor Knights Islands can explore the caves, arches, and underwater cliffs that make up the unique topography of the area. The Marine Reserve is home to a variety of marine species, including colorful fish, kelp forests, and a wide range of invertebrates. Divers often encounter dolphins, seals, and even occasional sightings of whales. To reach the Poor Knights Islands, visitors typically take a boat or join a guided tour from Tuchikaka or other nearby coastal towns. It's important to note that access to the islands is regulated to protect the fragile ecosystem, so it's advisable to book tours or trips in advance. Overall, the Poor Knights Islands offer a fantastic opportunity to experience the natural beauty and marine diversity of New Zealand's coastal waters while immersing yourself in the cultural heritage of the area. Explore Diving in Poor Nights Off the tip of New Zealand's North Island, the cliffs of Poor Nights sweep down into pelagic-filled ocean. These clear subtropical waters are paradise for dolphins, orca, and rays, with huge aggregations of bull rays and stingrays often sighted at several of the island's dive sites. From the moment you arrive, it's clear you don't dive around poor nights, you dive in them. There's no shortage of brados, chimneys, tunnels, and archways to burrow into. Healthy fish populations create mesmerizing displays below the waves, swim through huge clouds of pink and blue mau mau, sheltering in volcanic arches, or drift over kelp forests with snapper and trevallies. Feeding fish make the sea surface bubble and boil. Dramatic topography. The submerged and above-water geology provides some of nature's most impressive works of art, including impressive sea caves, walls, and arches. Smorkillers, scuba divers, kayakers, and SUP enthusiasts will find the perfect excursion. Multicolored marine life. There are sponge gardens and gorgonian corals, inhabited by a myriad of fish, shellfish, urchins, and anemones. The island's famous arches are fascinating to explore with countless animals competing for space on the walls. In the warmer months, squadrons of stingrays can be seen cruising the waters of the archways. Many of the subtropical fish living in the marine reserve are not found anywhere else in New Zealand. They include subtropical species such as spotted black grouper, mosaic moray, and Lord Howe coralfish. The fish are known for their friendliness, and make visiting will likely give you a very memorable experience stories to last a lifetime. The Poor Knights Islands offer a wide range of diving and snorkeling options catering to all divers, regardless of their level. Nursery Cove and some of the shallower parts of South Harbor are great dive sites for novice divers, while experienced divers can find spectacular and challenging dives all around the islands. Cruising in the Poor Knights Islands Cruising in the Poor Knights Islands will allow you to enjoy the beauty of the islands from the comfort of the boat. Pack your sunscreen and a towel. Spend the day on deck in breathtaking surroundings. Grab some lunch on board, all while stocking up on vitamin C or D. There are over 1,000 tuatera on the island, and they share the burrows with the shearwaters. There have never been any rats or mice or land-based mammals. The world's largest insect, the giant weta, is endemic to the poor knights. The poor knights lily is endemic to the poor knights. They are flowering at the moment, spring. The plants here have gigantism, where they are larger than their mainland counterparts. Every experience is different at the Poor Knights Marine Reserve, 
And just when you think you've seen it all, you see something new and exciting. From the moment you arrive, it's clear you don't dive around poor nights. You dive in them. There's no shortage of grottos, chimneys, tunnels, and archways to burrow into. Healthy fish populations create mesmerizing displays below the waves. Swim through huge clouds of pink and blue mau mau, sheltering in volcanic arches, or drift over kelp forests with snapper and trevallies. Feeding fish make the sea surface bubble and boil. The northern tip of the North Island is New Zealand's warmest region. Summers are warm and winters are mild. Underwater, there are two distinct seasons. Winter, May, October, has better visibility, over 30 meters on good days, while the remaining summer months, November, April, have more plankton and marine life. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.